<lacht> Willkommen in der Beta-Welt oder so, keine Ahnung. Uah! Uah! War jetzt aber kurzlebig. The fuck? Wo sind wir gelandet? Ist es jetzt ein Horrorspiel geworden? Verfolgt uns jetzt irgendein Monster? Fuck, wo sind wir? Ich dachte, wenn jetzt irgendein so Jumpscare kommt, und irgendein so Monster um die Ecke gesprungen kommt, ey, dann, dann springe ich auf und renne weg. Ich hasse sowas, ey. Deshalb spiele ich auch so selten Horrorspiele und sowas. Die, die, die Jumpscares machen mich fertig. <lacht> oh. Oh, so viele Bildschirme. Oh, das ist geil. Liebe viele Bildschirme. Gib, gib, will haben. Will haben. Mm. Oh. Was? Sind wir hier? Ich habe mal die Stanley Parabel bei jemandem gesehen vor vielen, vielen Jahren. YouTube. Da war nichts davon dem dabei. I wonder what he found. Er hat es wahrscheinlich ein bisschen anders gespielt als ich. To be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it, he'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Hm. <lacht> Haben wir es jetzt durchgespielt? Also einen der Playthroughs? Tatsache. War einer der... der Tausende, aber... Sehr, 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 sehr viele verschiedene Enden hier. Sehr, sehr viele Playthroughs. Und ich glaube, also wir, wir werden das heute nicht alles äh, erforschen können. Ich kann mir schon vorstellen, dass wir da noch mal ein oder zwei Streams in der Zukunft noch dazu machen. Ja. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wollen wir diesmal den richtigen Weg gehen oder wieder so ein bisschen falsch und dann aber irgendwann wieder mit einschlagen? Wie, wie seht ihr das? Könnte zum Beispiel da, wo ich von dem Kran gesprungen bin, halt nicht von dem Kran springen. Als Stanley kam zu einem Set von zwei offenen Türen, kam er die Tür auf seinem Linken. Oder rechts. Links oder rechts. <lacht> Links oder rechts. Links oder rechts. Kommt. Hm? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Diesmal springe ich nicht runter. Wir mal gucken, was da hinten kommt. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else is difficult, but the fact is, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <lacht> Ich, ich habe da unten eine Tür entdeckt. Ich dachte, vielleicht kann ich da lang. 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The Flush. lounge was sublime, a work of art. What? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, the erste offene Tür, die ich sehe. Right, geradeaus. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't oh. fired years ago. Jetzt fahren wir mal wirklich rüber. Mal gucken, was da kommt. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Does he? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Sie? She's been waiting. Seine Frau oder so? What the That's fuck? her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... <laughs> Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember, that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. 
At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. Oh, uh? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Bleib einfach hier. Nie an der Wand. Weiß nicht. Kann sich nicht. Ach, stop. Bloß falsch rum. Okay. Danger everywhere. Ja, ja. Hm. Sehr schön. Kann den ganzen Rest des Abends hier bleiben. Keine Eile. <lacht> Oder? So, ich bleib hier. Was willst du jetzt machen, hä? Ist dann was passiert, wenn ich jetzt einfach hier bleibe? So nach zwei, drei Minuten? Weiß nicht. Ihr wisst ja, ich habe keine Geduld. Rückfahren oder was? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly. Ich wollte runterspringen. The story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Order. Ich will jetzt einfach nur wieder zum Büro zurück und dann ist das Spiel zu Ende oder was? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, He entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> Here, Lord. Na, voll gemein. Der lässt mich nicht. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh, what is it now? Wieder von vorne or what? Oh, up! 
here. I'm still here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Yeah. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only <laughs> thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just yeah. had to see? Didn't I impress yeah. upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? No. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Sind wir nicht alle ein Kind? Oh. Sind alle jemand das Kind? If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so Echt? hard on it. I tried cool. so hard to make... Wo hat er nicht gleich gesagt, dass ich was kaputt machen kann? Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Please behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, He entered the door on his left. Did you not? No! Why did you do that? I was too fast. I was too fast in there. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. Ah, na gut. Jetzt hast du mich. I'm always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sehen wir mal, oder? Na also, geht doch. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Take it out passive aggressively. Oh God. <clears throat> Buy quarterly post review review. A lot of percentage. Things. Money. More money. Things. But with money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs about things and money. <laughs> Is that dämlich? Oh. Charts. Charts and slides. Slides. Die nicht so schnell aufgeben. Ach, meinst du, ich hätte doch noch mal rechts gehen müssen, oder was? Hätte ich doch noch mal rechts gehen müssen? Nein! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, schade. Hätte ich wirklich noch mal rechts gehen können? Aber es hat mich doch immer bloß wieder resettet. Nein, na, na ja, es ist spät. Warum verrätst du mir sowas? Jetzt, jetzt, jetzt finde ich es scheiße, dass ich es gemacht habe. <lacht> Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Hm. 
Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Weißt du, was ich machen soll? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Was soll ich machen? Ich soll die Tür öffnen? Okay. Aber die geht nicht auf. Erzähler. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. War das schon wieder eins der Endings? <lacht> okay.